Here I was, 11 years old, on stage and having Johnny Cash sitting right behind me go into the song and hear his voice coming through the monitor. One of the most mind-blowing moments of my life. I'm Trey Hensley, and this is My Bluegrass Story. I've always just loved music. When I was a kid, my dad played banjo, and I spent a lot of time with my granddad, who just really loved Hank Williams and Flatten Scruggs and Bill Monroe. And so I listened to records every day. You know, it was, it was such a big part of my life that, you know, those people kind of you know, became who I looked up to even as a, you know, five or six year old. But as far as live music goes and as far as me wanting to play, that didn't come into my life until I went to that bluegrass festival and I got to see it firsthand. And I think the visual of seeing these legendary artists uh, who I didn't know, you know, I was a kid. Uh, I'd heard of Jimmy Martin, but I'd never seen him before. And getting to see him play guitar, you know, that, that put everything together. I don't think my parents fully realized, you know, what, what was gonna happen. Whenever I started playing, uh, a few months after that was when I met Marty Stewart at the, uh, at the Appalachian Fair in East Tennessee. And I just went backstage, you know, to, to have him sign my guitar case. And I got to play a song for him backstage. And then he, he invited me to come up and play it with him on stage that night. And then that's, a few months after that was when he invited me to play the Opry with him and Earl Scruggs. It was definitely a different childhood than most people had. So when I was nine, uh, I got to go to a bluegrass festival. My parents took me to a, a, a bluegrass festival and I got to see Jimmy Martin and Charlie Waller, uh, who are two of the most prominent guitar players in bluegrass music. And this guitar really was, uh, hearing Jimmy play it, was what inspired me to get a guitar. And my parents got me a guitar right after that. I started playing but it was all because of seeing this guitar and hearing this guitar. And so when I first came here to the, to the Bluegrass Hall of Fame um, and I got to see the guitar behind glass, I mean, it, it gave me chills because this is, this is it. You know, this is why 20 some odd years later, I you know, play music. Just to get to be in the presence of this guitar is amazing, but to get to hold it and to, to play it is just otherworldly. That's the reason, that's, that's it for me. Hearing Jimmy do that, I was done, man. Horses, bourbon, and the great outdoors. That's Kentucky, original, majestic, and wide open. In one day, visit legendary distilleries, explore horse country, or put on your hiking shoes and get out there. This is Kentucky. Come see for yourself. Plan your road trip at KentuckyTourism.com. Hey everybody, I'm Dan Tominski. 
My favorite magazine is Bluegrass Unlimited. It can be yours, too. Get your subscription to Bluegrass Unlimited, the monthly print publication of bluegrass music since 1966. Bluegrass Unlimited includes feature articles on bluegrass history and tradition, current artists and bands, and so much more. Subscribe today online at bluegrassunlimited.com. And if you subscribe today using code MYBLUEGRASSSTORY, you'll save 15% of the regular subscription rate. The Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum, located in beautiful Owensboro, Kentucky, is your destination for bluegrass music. With interactive exhibits, you'll learn about the early innovators of the music, like Bill Monroe and Flatten Scruggs, but you'll also discover the artists of today who are following in their footsteps. But that's just the beginning. Experience the music behind the exhibits by playing music in our pickin' parlor and by enjoying a live show in our beautiful theater. Appearing soon at the Hall of Fame, Wee Banjo 3 on March 18th, Rhonda Vincent on March 25th, Darren and Brooke Aldridge on April 23rd, Daly and Vincent on May 6th, and Dan Tominski on May 14th. Use the promo code on your screen to save on concert tickets at bluegrasshall.org. And when visiting the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum, be sure to check out the exhibit highlighting the artists featured on the television show, My Bluegrass Story. Plan your trip to Owensboro, Kentucky today and discover your bluegrass story. Learn more at bluegrasshall.org. There was a guitar that was gifted to me from a family friend. It was an old Yamaha. And uh, I think I took a lesson on a Monday and played a gig that weekend. Probably can't say it was a great gig, but I played a gig, you know. I played, played my guitar on a couple songs, and it was an obsession, you know. It became one of those things where I, you know, I, I learned all the chords, and then I went into Carter Family songs, which was really when I think about the, the music that I wanted to play, it was Carter Family stuff. Um, and that was all because I had heard a Flat Scruggs record. Uh, Flat Scruggs played the famous songs of the Carter Family where Earl played a lot of those songs on guitar. I had a great guitar teacher when I was starting out and if I, you know, if I took a lesson on that Monday and he would show me one song, I was calling him back that same night for him to show me something else over the phone. I just always played it by ear anyway, you know, I pick up, I, that's how I play guitar is just by listening. I could call him and he would show me another, another song and, uh, but it was, it, it just never left my hands, you know, it was always. Um, as soon as I got home from school, that's what I wanted to do, you know, was play guitar. Well, I was born in the Southland.
know every inch of the highway and every foot of back road and round railroad track. In the heart of bluegrass country, on the banks of the Ohio River, there's a place where healthcare is different, where it's woven into the very fabric of our local communities, where doctors practice more than medicine, they practice living. Here, everyone cares for the patient and treats them like a neighbor because they are one. This place is called Owensboro Health, where a healthier community is what we do. There's a city where a river of music flows, where you're invited to discover its deep roots in bluegrass music and heritage and harmonies converge. It's a community that's just like the music it's home to, welcoming and authentic. This is Owensboro, Kentucky. This is the bluegrass music capital of the world. On June 22nd to 25th, 2022, Romp Festival takes place in Owensboro, Kentucky. Produced by the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum, Romp features four days of music, camping, jamming, and much more. Immerse yourself in bluegrass music by experiencing live performances from over 25 artists. Plan your trip to Romp Festival in Owensboro, Kentucky on June 22nd to 25th, 2022. More information about Romp can be found at rompfest.com.
that day that I played the Opry for the first time, you know, I knew I had an early sound check that day. And uh, so I spent the morning at Gruen Guitars there in Nashville and, and got to meet George Gruen for the first time. And, and he was so great. And, you know, so, so that was already a cool part of the day. That, that started off my day on a great note. Like 80 some people from my hometown rented a bus and, and went to the Opry to, to watch the show. And so I knew I had a lot of, you know, family and friends in the crowd and it was on the televised portion of the Opry. When I got to sound check, you know, Marty was there and, and I was standing backstage uh, right there on the side of the, the Ryman stage and uh, all of a sudden the, the crowd just parted that were back there, you know, and Earl walks through, you know, and, and it was just this heavy moment of, you know, this is, this is, you know, one of my biggest heroes. And then he was there to play with, with me and Marty and I had no idea. So we go up to do sound check, and this is all within a five minute span, you know, where, yeah, it's like mind blowing that Earl's even here. And then within just seeing him, I find out that, oh, he's playing with us. Yeah, he's, he's here to play Jimmy Brown with me and Marty. Earl and I had the same dressing room, which, is, which was Roy Acuff's dressing room at the Ryman. And, uh, and we had a couple hours to where Earl just kind of took me under his wing. I mean, he showed me all these cool guitar things that, you know, I had a million questions for him and he answered them all. And I became good friends with Earl through that night. And uh, yeah, so going on to the stage, there, was, uh, there wasn't any nerves at all. You know, I was really excited about it up until I was getting ready to kick the song off. And there was about a split second of, what do I do? You know, it, it, I, I still remember that feeling of just, yeah, you because know, you're looking out and there's the little plaque, Ryman Auditorium, it was a full house. And it was the last night, you know, I think it was the uh, end of February. So it was the last night they were doing the Ryman before they moved to the uh, new Opry House. And it was just all this this huge moment, you know, of, uh, of nerves kind of came and went. Always looking for a place to hang my hat but Never know in which direction I might find me at I've been traveling every day since I was born Just looking for some shelter from a never-ending storm I've crossed over these United States And I seldom make new friends along the way Never staying long enough to say hello just chasing both ends of my rainbow well, This morning came as a surprise After all the hell I've raised the last few lonely nights I've been burning all my candles at both ends Just wondering when this chapter stops and a brand new one begins Well, Montana's really nice this time of year Anywhere is better than right here I'll ride a plane wherever it may go While I chase both ends of my rainbow I keep hanging on to promises and chasing after dreams Knowing that reality is better than it seems Well, I'll find my way, won't sacrifice my soul While I chase both ends of my rainbow pockets are all full of cigarettes my money's blown my whiskey's gone and I'm full of regrets well I'm standing on this highway looking out with my guitar and my friendly smile I'll hit you right no doubt my horizon is just over this hill and I know I'll never ever get my fill well, I'll keep playing every song that I know 
While I chase both ends of my rainbow I keep hanging on to promises and chasing after dreams Knowing that reality is better than it seems Well, I'll find my way, won't sacrifice my soul While I chase both ends of my rainbow Yeah, I'll find my way, won't sacrifice my soul I chase both ends of my rainbow The Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum, located in beautiful Owensboro, Kentucky, is your destination for bluegrass music. With interactive exhibits, you'll learn about the early innovators of the music, like Bill Monroe and Flatt and Scruggs, but you'll also discover the artists of today who are following in their footsteps. But that's just the beginning. Experience the music behind the exhibits by playing music in our pickin' parlor and by enjoying a live show in our beautiful theater. Appearing soon at the Hall of Fame, We Banjo 3 on March 18th, Rhonda Vincent on March 25th, Darren and Brooke Aldridge on April 23rd, Daly and Vincent on May 6th, and Dan Tominski on May 14th. Use the promo code on your screen to save on concert tickets at bluegrasshall.org. And when visiting the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum, be sure to check out the exhibit highlighting the artists featured on the television show, My Bluegrass Story. Plan your trip to Owensboro, Kentucky today and discover your bluegrass story. Learn more at bluegrasshall.org. American Patriot Getaways has cabin rentals in Gatlinburg for any group size or budget. From a romantic studio for two to a 13-bedroom chalet, we can help you make memories any time of year. Break away from the everyday and take in the fresh mountain air from our cabin rentals in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. Enjoy luxurious amenities like a steamy hot tub, exciting game room, breathtaking views, or even a private indoor pool. Find your favorite cabin rentals in Gatlinburg today. So one of the first places I got to play at was the Carter Fold in Hilton's Virginia, which was uh, started by AP and Sarah Carter, uh, which is literally just a big barn on AP Carter Highway uh, where they had uh, like fiddle bands and, and dances every Saturday night. And it's still going, you know, it's a great place out there, and, and, uh, but obviously a lot of Carter family history. Um, and at the time when I started playing, it was ran by Jeanette Carter, who was the daughter of AP and Sarah. And so almost every Saturday night I could go out there and she would have me play the intermission. One Saturday, not long after I'd played the Opry, um, I got a call from her that uh, Johnny and June uh, Cash were gonna be there, you know, um, and wanted to know if I could be there, you know. She, she really wanted them to hear me play. And uh, I was like, yeah, obviously, yeah, I'll be there. And uh, so I got there early that day. This the black Lincoln town car pulls in to the, to the backstage area and it's it's them and so they did their you know five or six songs and uh, and then I was gonna do the intermission you know I go up to the, play a couple songs and I played Storms on the Ocean uh, an old Carter family tune and kind of unbeknownst to me during my song Johnny had asked for a microphone and uh, so I'm doing the song and I, I play the first verse and the chorus and I take a guitar solo and as I'm going into the second chorus, Johnny Cash's voice comes through the monitor, you know, and it was just, you know, it's like hearing the voice of God, you know, it's like just this monstrous voice that, you know, I've heard my entire life coming through to sing on this song with me. And, uh, and got to know them better that night. A couple weeks after that had, had gone by, and I just got home from school, it was the middle of the week, and I was probably doing homework or something, and the phone rings, you know, it's like 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and my mom picked up the phone. She came into where I was, and she said, Johnny Cash is on the phone, that, you know, he, he's wanting to talk to you. And so I, you know, pick up the phone, and he was wanting me to come play it at June's birthday party. And so a couple weeks later, I, I got to play it at what would sadly become June's last birthday party. But it was there that I got to meet uh, Tom T. Hall, who, by some pressure from Johnny Cash, uh, produced my first album at his studio.
My younger days were thrown away Staring down a long highway Waiting for the chance to dance my dance To the tune of the open road But freedom seemed like a hopeless dream To a southern wild child still in my teens Never been scared with a soul to compare To the way that the river flows I hope we continue doing what we're doing now. Uh, that's as much as I could ever ask for. I mean, we're playing gigs, got a full calendar, got a new record coming out, playing with, you know, some of my favorite musicians on the planet, get to play with Rob, you know, when we take a band out, get to play with, with those guys. It's, it's all great, you know, and I hope it just continues. Cause I do things my way And my way is the highway